Okay, happy Monday, you trader nerds. Hope you had a fabulous weekend. Look at here, looky here. We are uh, a new week upon us, a new week of printing money, though we may not be printing money today, but that's fine. So the VIX is back at 20. Wow, is that right? Okay, that gives us more room to do our stuff. Now, I wanted to show you uh, something I did on my spreadsheet. I know I said I wasn't going to make any changes to the spreadsheet, but I did. Because I thought this was kind of cool, right? So I want to know how many nakeds I got on. And I want to know how many put debit spreads I got on. And I want to know how many short of the sweet bobby hedges I got on and how many along I got on. So isn't this cool? So this kind of tells me that, hey, you know, we were kind of doing one naked put for one put debit spread. But uh, this tells me that I could actually put on some naked puts instead, right? Since I've got 25 of these, I got 20 nakeds. I kind of want to keep that a one-one ratio. And I certainly want to keep more longs and shorts on my uh, on my stuff here. So anyway, it's not a big deal. If y'all want those, it's very easy. Some ifs, trade B, trade F, naked, trade Q. See, easy. Just easy little formulas there to do that. So if y'all want that, I could work it out for you. No big deal. All right, so let's look at our first account. Let's see if we can find it here. We are at 3808750. 3808750. 38, dang it, we're down a little bit. 3807, 8750. 380750. And we're down a bit. No big deal. Down $218. Ah, three. All right. So let's go see what we got to do here. Greeks and ratios. Let's bring it over. So we are at. We are at a delta of 54 and 44 theta, 54, 44, 54, almost in the red, not quite, and 44. Look at us, y'all. 54 and 44. looks like we are good. And we said the VIX is back to 20. So our buying power is, make sure that's updated. Buying power. So buying power is 78.1103. Look at that, y'all. Wait a minute. Wrong pen. No. 54 and I'm in the wrong one. Hold, what, hold on, crap. No, I'm in the right one. 54. 78.111. What was crap? What the crap is going on? Bobby, today's the 30th. There's oh, is it the 30th? Okay. Oh, there it is. There, there's my 30th. Okay, good. Weird things are happening today. I'm not that sure what's happening. I'm going to make this 20. What I say this was buying power 7811. What is wrong with that thing? There we go. 7811. So, okay, 20%. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. Rawr. I mean, everything looks good. Green, green, and green. And it's a good, I think it's a down day. I haven't really been watching, but it'd be a good day to put on another trade, wouldn't it? Now, I'm almost over my deltas here, but no big deal. And it's one of those things, I don't record the trades in here, but I kind of like to know if I've got anything that's been on 30 days that I could roll out. So let's see if we got any nakeds in here. Here's where most of my nakeds are. Days in trade. Days open. Is, uh, I got some 30 dayers there. All right, so let's close this. He's been open for 31 days. He's made me $108, 73% profit. Are you kidding me? Let's take him off. 27, 24, 20, da-da-da-da-da, da-da-da. Okay, yeah, let's take him off, take our profit, and move him back out to 90 days, All right? So we want to close it as least as possible. So let's close him. Okay, he's gone. So now... Let's go put on another trade. But this time, we're going to sell two, right? Isn't that what we're going to do? I think so. We're going to sell two out at the naked activity. So let's do that. Trade table. So we'll go out to 88 days. We don't have anything out here. We're going to sell two here because we're rolling one. And then the other one, we're just, you know, repositioning. So let's go to the 12% probability of being in the money. And let's sell, <clears throat> let's sell, 
I'll sell two of them at the same place. Let's see if we'll get field here. I want to do a two. Now we're going to do something different today. All right, so I sold him. Now this is my freehand account. So far, as far, my freehand account ain't doing good. So 60 days is where we're going to put in our put vertical. I'm going to put vertical. 50 wide. And we're going to put him down where we can find him for 10. Now, today's the day we're doing stuff different. I'm going to show now, nothing that's not in my plan, but it's going to be fun to show y'all this. 1175, 1, 2, 1, 2, 39, 30, 10, 75. Let's get them down to about $10. 975, there it is. Where's my other one? 3860, 3910 for $10. I said we can get filled there. Or 10 and a quarter, whatever. 10 and a quarter? You're not taking my trade at 10 and a quarter? Wow. We'll go 1050. No, we won't. Let's go back. What happened? Crap. 3910 was where we were buying. 3860 was where we were selling. Let's try it again. Come on, little fella. Come on, little fella. Let me play 1054. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to do it over here, and then I'll show you why I'm doing it later in the other account, because I'm going to try to keep them consistent. So now I'm going to go out to 11 days. And we'll evaluate it in the other account, and I'll tell you why I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy me some cheap cheap puts down here for about 50 cents. I could go a dollar, go 50 cents. I just evaluate them in the other account. I think I just go 50, 50 cents, 11 days out. And so I sold two puts today. So I think I'm going to do maybe, let's do, if we get filled at 40 cents, 35 cents, that'd be good. Let's buy me, uh, let's buy four of these. At 11 days out. And I'll show you what I'm doing. So that's going to cost me, what, $16? Now, I know what you're saying. Bobby, what are you doing buying 11-day options? I know. I know. I'm going to show you another account. I promise. And we're filled. All right. So 50 is my delta. My theta is 39. Let's see what that looks like. 50, 39. 50, 39. Oh, man, I didn't mean to go down that far. But I brought my deltas down. I brought that to 39. Did that get me under my thing? I hope I did. And I should have only bought two options then. No, I'm good. I'm good. So what I did is I used part of my theta. I used part of my theta to buy a little bit of protection to the downside. That's all I did. All right, now, let's go to the other account. Now, this is where you'll see why I did what I did. All right, let's go to the Crimson account. And I just want everybody to be clear here. Crimson account, hide simulations. This is my Crimson account. If we go down, 20% says I'm going to lose $10,000, wing, right? But if you put in the volatility and you say volatility gets up to 50 or 60, I could lose 23 to 27,000. Well, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. So what I decided to do, let me hide position so I can show you what I did here. I said, you know, if we bought an option here, at 50 cents, and I, I compared it to a dollar, dollar fifty. So if we bought two 50 cent options, look at there, y'all. It gave me twenty six hundred dollars in buying or in uh, in profits if we went down for eleven days. If we did the two for a dollar, that would give me uh, thirty eight hundred. So you know, anywhere between the fifty cents and dollar, whichever one makes you more comfortable, that's fine to buy a little protection just to make sure we don't blow out our account, right? We want to keep some, we think we can roll out. We think we can do stuff, but we hadn't been tested that far yet. So, you know, some of y'all are worried about nuclear war. Y'all you need about things, you know, buy a little protection here and there. Now, is that in my trading plan? Well, let's see. Let's see if Bobby's violating anything in the old trading plan here. Trading plan says optional hedging here. Where's my optional hedging? Okay. It says permission is granted 
to use a portion of trading purchase profits to purchase the optional hedges as deemed necessary by the trader. Protective puts. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. It's right there in black and white that I can do this if I want to. So I'm not violating any rule. So I just want everybody to know that. So let's do our, let's see how our accounts do and see how bad we're down here today. So we're down 125 here. Uh, we're at 29,726. 29,726. First of all, we're going to make 29,726. Down a little bit, 29,726. And today's 130. Right, and our Greeks and ratios, we are at a delta of 43, 44, and 28. 44 and 28. Let's go look at that. 44 and 28. 44 and 28. Okay. And our buying power usage is at, so we're a little blue here, right? Still a little blue. And our buying power usage is at, 5781. 5781. 5781. Okay. So this is green. This is green. This is blue. I've got to put on a trade. But first, let's go see if there's something we need to roll out in time. So we'll go to our auto close date here. Aha. Uh -huh. There is a booger that needs to be harvested. Look at him. Anything else? Nope, just the one. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to harvest Mr. 3310. We got two of them, 3310s. So let's go close him out. Two 3310s at the 60 days. Two 3310s at 60 days. 3310s. Here they are. 74% winners. Bobby, I thought it's only going to be 50%. I know. Isn't that cool? So let's close them. See if we can close them $8. Probably won't. We'll have to move it up some. Come on. Come on. How was y'all's weekend? Mine was good. Except for yesterday after church, my son told me I was a horrible person. I said, I'm a horrible person? I said, what's this, pal? I said, we won't go to Mexican today. Oh, and the whole family just got totally mad. So I was like, oh. We're not going. You call me a horrible person. You think after church that we're going to the Mexicano restaurant? Uh -huh. So we ended up going last night and he didn't go. But Beth said, we're bringing him home something. I said, well, let him know that a horrible person bought his dinner. How about that, little brat? Right, what was I doing? So we closed that out at, what was it, eight and a quarter? Yeah, eight and a quarter. Yeah, how about this, dude? All right, so we closed him out at eight and a quarter. Well, hello, ladies. Look at this. So we made a profit of 30, 23. Look at us. We're the stuff of champions, y'all. We made a profit of uh, $226.66. Now, why don't you and I use part of our profits to go buy us a little bit of protection? How about that? Is that going to hurt anybody? So I'm going to go here. Now, Bobby, why are you only going to like 11 days out? Well, let's see what options are available to us, shall we? I could go one day. That's not a lot of protection. Four days or 11 days. So I'm kind of like, you know, it's cheap. It's just cheap to give me a little bit of protection for the next 11 days. So I kind of like that 50, between 50 cents and a dollar, right? So we can buy the 33.90. Let's see what we can end up buying that for. There's a wide bid ass spread. So let's say we're going to buy, I don't know, we just sold, we just harvested two, right? So if we were to buy four of these, how much would that cost us? $13. Well, we just made $222, you fat black glass wearing bastard, capitalist pig. I mean, use a little money here. Cancel, replace. Try 45 cents. All right, we'll fill. 33.90s at 45 cents. 33.90s, 45 cents. I bought four of those. 
Now, I want to show you how you do this in the spreadsheet, right? Because you're saying, Bobby, your spreadsheet won't account for that. Well, heck yeah, it will. Let me show you how it does it. So we'll go over here, 3390. And we'll go over here. And we'll go trades, right? So we close that other one. So now we're going to go MES. We bought four. So we've got four contracts or four tranches. And we'll just call this a, uh, uh, what, long put? LP1. LP1. And we did the 3,900 put. And then you go, it's a long hedge. That's exactly what it is. Long hedge at 11 days and 130.23. And we bought it for what was it, 45 cents? Cost me what, $13 or something? $14.88. Is that right? Make sure my stuff is right. Great duplicate order, 45 cents, $14.88. Sure, it's 1488. Yeah, 1488. There you go. Now, what the also does is since I made the change on my little thing here, watch what this does. So that should pick those up that I've got four loans there. So what's this? I go over here to my realized returns. Look at there. So now I've got eight short hedges and I got 20 long hedges. It was eight and 16, remember? So now it counts those four. How about that? Huh? That good. All right, so now, since I closed those options, those two, I need to roll those out. So let's go here and sell me another two. And this is going to be, we'll call this NP9 road, NP10 road. We'll call this NP11 road. I know I'm rolling stuff out. So let's go find us something to roll those two out that we just bought. So we'll go closest to 90 days. And remember with these, I don't need to do a put debit spread. So I'm gonna go roll me out something, two of the, uh, we'll get the money, 35 nuts. Nice fat premium. And we'll go two of them. 3590s at 88 days. 3590 at 88 or 88 days. 3590, 88 days. Let's go put them in. 3590 puts naked at 88 days. 130, 20, 30. And what was it? 31. 25, let's see what that was, 3125, something like that. $31, it'll be steel, $31. All right, so we got us two naked there. So now let's go look over here. So I've got 20 naked puts and I've got 25 put debit spreads. Well, that's telling me I could go sell some more, all right? Isn't it? So let's go sell us maybe two more. Even. So let's go over here, sell two more. What am I doing? Trade tab. 88 days. I'm not doing it around the same place. I could do the exact same strikes if I want to. I'm just moving my risk around a little bit. Let's uh, Let's don't be too aggressive. Let's go down here. To the 3570s. Let's sell two of the 3570s. Come on. Come on. Two of the 3570s. There we go. Two of the 3570s. Trades. It is two of the 3570s put naked in eight days. <clears throat> 
Now, really, this is a must be a rogue one too. Remember the other day when we closed all those and we didn't do any more trades because our metrics were out of line. So this one is has to be a roll trade too because I've got more put debit spreads than I've got. So I need to call this one a roll too. So we sold him for twenty nine fifty. Fifty. And why don't we just call him NP twelve row? That way, I know next time I close him, I need to do a put debit spread. NP twelve row. Okay, so he doesn't have to have a put debit spread, and we did that. Why is that put naked? What the crap? Turn twenty nine fifty. Why is my says zero? Huh. Oh, I got to put my two here. I wonder, Bob. Oh, Bob, oh, Bob. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Now, let's see what we did to our Greeks all together, shall we? We sold four. We bought four. Let's see what our Greeks are now. Just compare. So now we're at 63.33. Ah! 63.33. That's a little, wow, I did too much there, didn't I? 63.33. Uh-oh, I'm a little too long now. Now, what I could do, though, is now that I'm at point one one, right, I'm a little heavy over here, what could I do? I could go back and buy some more puts. Use part of my theta that I just got on those sweet 90-day ones and buy me some 11-day puts here. But I'm not going to do it. I'm comfortable with this risk, right? I increase my theta. I'm above there. And what we may do is do that tomorrow. So let's undo that because I like to do. There we go. That's what we look like when we did it. All right. No need to, you know, to, to make any changes. My theta, I increase my theta. That was my goal today. Increase my theta, put a hedge or two on. All right. Now I put a little more risk on. So probably if I go back to my, my thing over here, my analyze tab is probably worse than it was, right? That's okay. Because tomorrow, what I'm going to do again is this. I want you to notice this. We have trades coming off just about every day. Look at this. So tomorrow, well, maybe not tomorrow, but the next couple of days, look, we've got more trades coming off. See these? See all these nakeds that are in here? Just about day after day, we're going to have something coming on. Isn't that cool? So what am I going to do when I start taking those off? I'm going to buy me a few more loans. So my goal is, my goal is to have more loan puts than short puts. More loan puts here than short puts here. Could I go and buy me a couple more today? Absolutely. Am I going to? No, because I'm comfortable with the risk. Questions on that? Isn't that cool? I love that. All right, so let's go to the other account. And let's see how we're doing over there. So Crimson, we'll go to the Bobby Beth account, go to the monitor tab. And we're probably down here a little bit as well. $452. Rough. 108351. 108351. 108351. Oh, we're down big, aren't we? 108351. So 12823. So Greeks and ratios are 147 and 95. 147. So I'm good there. 95. We said this was around 20. Beautiful. Now, I don't have my new calculator over here, so I don't know if I'm how I'm doing, but I would think it's just like I am the other one. 27,375. 27,375. 27,375. All right. <clears throat> so over here, everything is green or blue. So that means put on trades. But first, let's look at our existing trades and see if there's anything that you and I need to close. Dugga, 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 close. Dugga, 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 close. How about that? So that's taking the risk off. But the problem is my, 
you know, do you really want to close things when the theta is low? Remember my theta is blue? Well, yeah, because I can replace that theta by going out in time. So let's close the three 3370s. Let's close those three 3370s. Three 3370s. Three 3370s. There they are. Look at this, y'all. They are at 68%. Remember, as long as we're getting them at 50%, that's good, right? So let's try to see if we close them at 10. Yeah, there we go. So let's go put him in and close those at 10. Well, hello, ladies. So we closed him on the year of our Lord, 130-23. And you and I made a swifty, swifty three hundred and nine dollars. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on up to the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. All right, so let's go close this one. We've been in 30 days, right? These are the 33 tens. We got three of those. Three of the 33 tens. This is fun, y'all. Taking profits. Well, hello, ladies. 33 tens. There they are. Look, 73%. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't care what the devil's going to do. Word and faith, my sword and shield. Jesus is the Lord of the way I feel. Hallelujah. Let's see if we can get out of them for 825. Yes, indeed. 825. Mm -hmm. One thirty, and it's fun. Even when you're down six hundred dollars, you can close stuff for profits, and it's great. So let's take our three hundred and thirty-nine dollars. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on up to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. All right, so I close six. Right. Well, let's go replace those. You want to? Let's go do MES. Let's go sell six options. Wow, Bob, you're getting big, baby. I know. And isn't it great to do it on a down day? So we'll call him NP14 Roll. Let's go see if we can sell those six. 88. Let's go. 12% probability being in the money. That's where we like them. So let's go sell six of these puppies. Bump that up a little bit. Six of those at 31. Come on. Come on. There we go. 3580 at 31. 3580 at 31. 3580s. Put naked. 88, 130, 23. What do we say? 31. Rick will correct me if I'm wrong. 31. There we go. Brought in a nice $921. Now let's see what my theta is. Our theta was 95. Now our theta is 100.38. Look at daddy. How does daddy do it? Time in. 100.31. Let's put 100 there. Oh, still green. Still not there, right? We're still not there. But what did I do? I increased it 106, 97, 8, That's fine. Rome wasn't built in a day. Now, I could do another trade, right? I could do a whole nother trade. And why not? So why don't we now go and sell us another one? Market's down 0.56%. Let's sell us a two truncher. Let's sell us a two trancher. Twelve percent probability of being in the money. Let's see. Let's do a. Uh, let's do this. Thirty-five seventy-five. Thirty-five seventy-five for thirty. Beautiful. Thirty-five seventy-five for thirty. Go put him in. Thirty-five seventy-five for thirty. And the price of third. Look at all this premium we're bringing in, y'all. Look at this. You take profits and you just put it back out to the 90 days. That's all our game is. 
It's really a simple game. It seems complex. I know it does. Oh, if this is your first day, you're sitting there going, crap on me. I ain't doing this garbage. I know. Listen, I think we got something that's really special here. You just hang with us. So we did MES. We did two. So I sold eight naked, y'all. Look at me. And we'll call this NP, what, 17? Now, let's see if we got our, let's see what our theta is now. So we had it at 100. Now our theta is 105, 106. Rough. Now, what's this? 106. What does that look like? 106. Yes. Look at there, point 10. Now, what am I going to do, though? What am I going to do? Well, let's go look at our, let's go look at our account. Because remember, we closed, y'all. Let's don't be too greedy. We closed six puts. Y'all remember that for profits, y'all? We had profits of $600 that we took today. Can we buy just a few little cheap puts for some type of protection? If we go to the Analyze tab and look at our account, $108,000 account, you know, we're going to lose $109,000 if we have a 20% crash. Well, that don't sound good. I don't like that. So let's use a part of our little profits here to go us buy some 11-day options. Remember, we like that dollar to 50 cents. Let's go do these little things here. Marked at 50. Let's see if we can get in them for 40. And let's do, we close six. How much would 12 of these things cost me? Cost me $41. Am I so cheap that I'm not going to spend $41? Let's analyze the trade, shall we? So, hold on. Let's see what this gets me. So, hide positions. There we go. Let's see what these 12 get me. So, I close six. Let's just buy 12 little puts. That gives me, look at this, y'all. That gives me $16,000 of protection for $40. And ensures that I'm not going to blow out my account if I have to. But if I if, if things get bad, right? So let's put those in. Let's confirm and send. 41.64. Come on, baby. Fill me. Come on. Let's bump him up $45. Wing. That ought to fail. What's that ought to Unbelievable. Probably because I'm dealing in such high numbers now. It's going to make me go to 50 cents. That's fine. We allotted, we were going to do 50 anyway. There we go, 50 cents. So let's put those in. 11 days, we bought the, we bought the 3390s for 50 cents. 3390s for 50 cents. 3390s for 50 cents. $33.90, and we bought 12 of those to give us about $16,000 protection for 11 days, 12. So we're going to call these LP1, long puts one, puts long hedges, 11 days, 130, 23. Cost me $47.64. And I made $600 in profit. So now, what did that do to my theta? Well, it took it down to 98. Okay, well, did I improve my position today? Let's see. Yes, because I went from 84. Remember, we were 95. We brought that up to front, and then we spent some of our theta to bring this up to 98. Okay, I like that. 97, 84, 98. I did my job and gave me a little bit of protection so that I wouldn't blow up my cam. Now, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to keep doing this. Now, I kind of got this idea from James. So James was kind of like, uh, he's buying some seven-day protection. I go, that's not a bad idea. Spend just a little bit of money, you know, and especially if you're closing positions and making $600 in profit like we did today. Well, let's use just a little bit of that, just a little bit to buy some protection. All right, what are y'all talking about? Uh, John, when you compare your short puts to your long puts, 
you count both the naked puts and the short hedges, right? Yeah, I mean, theoretically, yes. Correct. I could net long short. I could net long short differential too, but not automatically like you did here. I like this addition to the spreadsheet. Yeah. So I'll try to add that to the spreadsheets or show y'all how to do that too, right? It's, it's an easy little formula because all you're doing is saying sum this if this is whatever and this and the exit doesn't have anything if this is blank. So the formula is really simple. Watch. I did this little, well, it's not over here. Where's my formula? Let y'all see. Uh, but I, I do want to try to get net loans in the account. Where's it at? Realize return. Yeah, here it is. So some ifs, if the trades in B, and B is this column, right? If the trades in B, uh, and then your formula bar, uh, the criteria bar trades F says naked, and trades Q is blank, which means the X is blank. So you don't copy that if you want to. All right? Isn't that cool? So, and the cool thing is, what's this, y'all? So I'll have more trades coming off in the IRA as well. Let's go back over here. Every time we have one of these that's coming off, say uh, I got some nickets here, naked, 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 naked. See, 27 days and three days, we'll be taking some more profits. Okay, well, if you're making... You know, we expect to make 55%. Well, here we are making 74 and 68%. Here's a little bit of that to put a little hedge in, just to make you sleep better at night. So the whole thing today is this. Hedge, put a little bit of hedge in to allow you to sleep better at night.